Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Barrett and I've got a very exciting electronic drum product that I want to talk to you about today. Uh, this is a cymbal splitter by mpfisher.com, www.mpfisher.com. Uh, I reached out to the, um, the developer of these and the distributor of these a few months back. I'd found them on eBay and um, was very interested to see that with the splitter on Rollin cymbals, you're able to retain the choke function of your main cymbal that you have split, right? Um, so I reached out to him and unfortunately, he was no longer selling them. COVID shutdowns really hurt the raw materials uh, industry, as we all know from anybody that's basically bought anything in the past year and a half, from automobiles to electronic drum kits to uh, anything with electronics, honestly, um, it has been really difficult. Uh, so he had to stop production of these, but um, he was kind enough to send me one prototype that he had left. Um, and I've been using it for months now, and I have been really impressed with it. Um, and I wasn't able to get any more of these from him, but I wanted to add some more stuff to my kit. So I went to eBay and just bought just a, a cymbal splitter that was designed to work with Roland. It had a, uh, a special resistor in it that will allow it to work with uh, Roland cymbals and modules. You can't just use a regular old TRS uh, stereo splitter. It doesn't work that way with Roland modules. You can get away with it on some of the Alesis modules. Uh, I understand from seeing people online about that, but with Roland, you can't do that. Um, so the biggest downfall that I found with the eBay one um, was that number one, you couldn't choke the cymbal, which I already knew that, but you also have an issue where if you hit your main cymbal too hard, it will trigger the head or the bow surface of your other cymbal. Um, so I'll demonstrate that for you right here. So all the way on my right, you're not going to be able to see it. It's out of frame. I have a Roland CY12C, and then over here on my left, I've got that 12C uh, split with a CY8. So I've got a China assigned to the 12C and a splash assigned to the CY8. Now if I hit the China too hard, it's going to trigger the splash over here. And this isn't any kind of crosstalk or anything like that. I've gone in and I've eliminated anything to do with that. It's not that. It's just simply something to do with the circuitry in that splitter that it overrides it, it, overrides it. so you're going to see that here hitting the same symbol and I'm getting the splash sound. Hit it softer, I get China. Now, it's not the end of the world. Um, if you're kind of a light to medium hitter, you're really not gonna have a problem with that unless you're really getting into it and that's where I find my problem. If I'm over and I'm really trying to just slam on the China with the bass drum and everything at the same time, I'll just trigger a splash and it, it really messes things up. Um, so I wanted to add more to the kit and so I ended up going to MP Fisher. He was able to start selling these and I bought two of them. So this is one of the ones that I still haven't installed that's going to replace the one that has the CY12C and the CY8 over here that has them split. So I'm going to eliminate the, um, uh, that sound issue that I just, I, I just showed you there. Um, another problem that I found with the eBay splitter is that whatever you have separated or whichever part that you have is triggering as the bow. So the CY12C bow trigger is now assigned to the CY8 over here. So, okay. Now here's the problem. If I hit my snare and that at the same time, or if I try to hit like a tom and that at the same time, it will cancel out the symbol. You can only play the snare. It's just, you're just not going to hear it. So you can hear that here. Well, I actually have to do the bass drum at the same time. So, so you can see as long as I just do it. Oh, it's doing it now. Okay. So there we go. So that's what I was talking about. Um, if you try to hit these at the same time, like if you're, it doesn't work all the time. You basically have to flam it. And then even then it doesn't really work well. Now, that's not the case with these, okay? Um, because I have my CY14C thin symbol uh, over here as a crash and I have it split in the center here with another CY8 that's a stack. So um, I'll show you that. There's the stack sound, there's the crash, and you can see that I still have the choke function. Still works, right? 
The other ones, here's the China, no choke function. No choke function at all. Now here's what I was talking about, where this one I can't, it doesn't work, right? But if I come here, so with the MP Fisher ones, I'm able to play with this one and hit snare, hit bass drum, hit whatever I want to, and it doesn't cancel out that sound. Um, so that's really cool with those, and that's really the two major differences that I found with them. Um, another thing is that on MP Fisher's site and with the brochure that he gives you to show you um, how they need to be hooked up, he does state that these don't work with toms. That's not the case. I have two PDA-140Fs. This is a VAD-506 kit, just a standard kit, um, and I added an additional PDA-140F 14-inch 4 tom. Um, and when I did that, I split that one as well with a side hi-hat or a stack, you know, an X-hat, whatever you want to call it, or if you want to add a stack, whatever I wanted to assign it to, but it's, it's in that place of where like an X-hat, uh, secondary hi-hat, uh, stack symbol would kind of be in, in modern setups, right? Um, so I've got the floor tom set for the head, and then for the rim is going to be my hi-hat. And I'm going to hit the bow of the CY12C that I had that split off of, and you can hear the, the head of the, of the floor tom being played. So let me see if this does this as well. You can see that it sometimes it doesn't want to play, you know, it's the same thing with, with most split things. You can't hit both of them at the same time, but unless you're just dead on, just like that, see? I'm able to get it timed perfectly, and you can only hear the hi-hat, can't hear the floor time. You have to flam to be able to get that out. But it works a little bit better. You can get away with it easier with the MP Fisher than you can with one of the, the eBay ones. With the eBay ones, it's, it's really difficult to do. You can hear, you're not hearing the splash at all out of that. Right? But if I come over here, I can, I'm able to achieve it. Um, even if I flam, you have to make it a very noticeable, almost like you know, a, double, a double hit uh, to be able to get both of those sounds out. But it's been a very good product. Um, I wanted to do this video before I took off the eBay splitter that I purchased and uh, just show you guys what it's like, man. I mean, this has been uh, Probably one of the best things that you could buy for an electronic kit, especially when you're limited to a smaller module like a Roland TD27 that only has so many inputs in it. Um, but it really is, it, it's a really good module. Um, the Roland TD50 and, and TD30s and, and the TD20s, obviously those have always had the most inputs out of all of them. But even if I had a Roland TD50, I would still have to use at least uh, one or two of these to be able to get what I have here. I mean, I've got four toms, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cymbals, snare and bass drum on one Roland TD27 kit. Now, I can't remember the price of these, um, but I believe they're around you know twenty something dollars, maybe twenty five dollars a piece. Then you got to pay shipping. They are uh, this guy is actually in the UK, but it does not take long at all. You order these, they're at your house. Um, at least for me, where I live at in the United States. They were at my doorstep um, within a week, uh, actually less than five business days. So that is very good shipping coming from overseas and um, they're definitely worth it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it went a little bit longer, but I wanted to get uh, a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I wanted to be very in depth of what you guys are buying and to show you, especially if you're if you're a Roland user, you, you want these. If you're trying to expand your module, or, or you know, add more things. Don't get down if you've got a Roland TD27 or even a TD11, um, anything like that. I mean, you can use splitters, and these are going to be the best ones that you're going to be able to use on the market. I, I would endorse them, um, you know, regardless. And you know, I wasn't paid to do this or anything. He did send me one free prototype on it, and I told him I would do a video for him. I guess that's payment if you want to consider that. But uh, these other ones, I bought them full price, didn't ask for a discount or anything like that. Um, they are great, and I would recommend them to anybody. So if you guys have any more questions, um, just uh, reach out to me, ask me a question. I will put the link uh, to these below in the video, and I will see you guys around. In the future, I'm going to have a couple of videos about uh, Pearl Demon Drive 
and uh, the demon chain pedals and a couple of modifications that you can make to those especially if you're a left footed player or you're wanting to go from chain to direct drive on that and I'm going to show you how to change those up very easily on that and uh, stay tuned for those videos to come and we'll catch you guys next time.